to my channel. Today's agenda is just going to be to make my house smell better <laughs> because with having two dogs and it being winter, wet dog smell is just prominent in my home right now. You just came in laid right behind me. Hi. So first thing on the agenda is Shadow's getting a bath, Copper's getting a bath, and then I'm getting a bath. I swear, this dog, just any soft surface he has to be sitting on. Are we attached to one another? Just a little bit? We love you. You're so cute. Buddy. <laughs> I can't. Shadow does not like baths. We try to make it a good experience by giving him a lot of treats. So you ready? It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have fun. Stay. Good boy. Good boy, Shadow. Good boy. Hey, Hey, where's my other little white rat? There you go. Advent calendars for the pup. Good boys. Good boys. What I wanted to do for the rest of the night was just kind of create my vision board for 2024. I need my laptop. Hold please. Earlier I did some work from the Deeper Than Money book, which is if you haven't been around my content, like I've talked about this like 50 times. So this is my favorite book right now for just getting your finances in order. The last like chapter had some exercises that you needed to do. And it's basically like, I don't want to show everything. <laughs> it just goes along with creating my like financial goals for 2024. So she has you create like three different categories. And so the first category is the priority. Second is amounts. And third is goal completion date. So without showing you everything, basically the priority is you list out all of the financial priorities that you want to address in 2024. Just examples are if you want to pay off credit card debt, if you want to pay off your car loan, if you want to pay off like student loan debt, if you just want to get like a decent amount of like savings, um, whatever it is, you're going to list all of those out in priority from like one to five or one to ten however many you have and then the next row you're going to do the amount so whatever amount those loans is whatever amount the credit card debt is whatever amount you want to have in your savings um you put there and then the last one is goal completion date so you write down when you hope to um be able to complete those items so in regards to like my financial vision, that is what I have done so far. I still have a couple chapters left of this book that I need to finish, so I'm not sure what other prompts she's going to have me do, but I'll try to share them just because if you are interested in getting ahead financially, I think it's helpful to know. I've been putting off creating a vision board for 2024 just because... This last year's been so hard and like it's been so hard for me to like and I definitely have learned the lesson of how I cannot control everything. I feel like I'm just putting so much pressure in my life to like heal from these things when it's like no like the reality of what I need to do right now is to take myself out of the places that are hurting me. Like I'm definitely someone who when I care about people like, I stay in places longer than I should. So I feel like I just need to completely, like, blow up my life and, and just have everything or most everything be different so that I can just create something new. Okay. With that being said, I last year created a program. Where it was like a vision board three-day. Let me actually just pull it up so that I remember for myself. Because I literally created this program so you could have like my step-by-step -step of how I create my vision board. I'm pretty sure the course is called Manifested. It's three different videos. They're all on YouTube. You can watch them at your own pace. Because I just recommend that you do the specific videos like at different times. Like the first video you'll watch it and then you'll be prompted to do the work that's in it. The second video, you'll watch it, be prompted to do the work. So like you just need to finish the work first in order to move on to the next video. So that's the layout of it. And I'm just going to go and rewatch it. I'll link the course down in the description below. It is $55. 
and it's available whenever you want to purchase it. It's always up there. So this is the course. It's like I said, I will link it below. It's called Manifested and it has all the detailed like information in there about it. It's three days of pre-recorded trainings, two meditations, daily journaling practices, and lifetime access. So the description is basically like together we'll break down every wall that's been holding you back from manifesting the life you truly want and get your mind and body into alignment with your desires. So with just doing this whole process, I like to do a couple of meditations just to like touch base with myself and kind of clear my head so that I'm not um, getting distracted with things that I think I want but I really don't want. And then a lot of my work is just diving into the emotions behind what you want because obviously when it comes to like manifestation work and stuff like it's more so about tapping into the energy of what you want not so much tapping into the actual thing because behind like every desire that you have is the emotion that you want to feel so an emotion is like the first step of creation when it comes to your desires so that's where you want to touch base with first. I think I'm gonna go and do the first day that I have here and watch this video and then get back in touch with you guys in a, another vlog mess. And also my other course if you're interested in any kind of like abundance like money mindset energetic work around that I have my abundance now course that is also available I think it's $88 let me just read you the actual description on the sales page because that will make more sense for you and me and if you just go to my links on Instagram all of the courses are up there as well as long as my podcast and my private Facebook group. And if you wanna get on my email list, so you know when I have like new courses and content coming out, um, join my private Facebook group because I have you leave your email there and then I will add you to the list from there. But this is Abundance Now 70 course. Tap into your intuition and cultivate an abundant mindset. Rewire limiting beliefs and deeply embody the energetics of all that you desire. So if there's anything that I know that has gone well for me this last year is my relationship with money. I've received money in a way that I never would have expected that like supported me in order to do those things. In the last two years, I've done a lot of work around my money mindset. Hence, <laughs> these books. And so if anything is going well in my life, it has definitely been like just my relationship with money has been getting a lot better and a lot more supportive. So I would highly recommend that course that I have on here. And I will mention other courses I've taken from other people because of course, like I am not the sole creator of all of this stuff. I have dived into a lot of different teachings around money mindset to kind of help start all of this and I will say Amanda Francis I think it's money makeover mentality I did take that course I absolutely loved it and she's definitely like someone who I kind of hesitate on people who are really like spiritual and woo woo because I've taken courses from Manifestation Babe and I love her but sometimes I just want to be a little bit more grounded in like God and not so much like the universe and spiritual teachings just because it feels more comfortable for me. So Amanda Francis I like a lot because in her programs and courses she'll take you through like journaling prompts which is everything that I'll take you through in abundance now but she does a lot of like prayers and I do have to admit that prayer has probably been a really big game changer for me this year as well and not just like praying to your God whatever God that is that you believe in but praying to your god and then also like thanking him or it whatever you want to say as if the thing has already come to be so it's kind of changing the prayer to be like calling it in and asking it to support you but then also thanking it for showing up i think a, a lot of times we ask for things and pray for things and we don't necessarily embody or believe that we are going to receive what we're asking for and that's most often the barrier between it showing up so when you can get into the energy of like it already being done and it's just belief and faith like they teach about belief and faith but it's just knowing that it's going to happen and knowing that it's going to show up for you and knowing that it's going to be there and like that's what faith and belief is all about 
So that's a tangent, but if you are looking for other people's courses, I'm never going to be one to only guide you to my work. Their work has been really powerful in my life, so I'm just, that's, I'm, that's all I'm going to say, and I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to do this for the next hour, and then I'm going to watch the football game with my pups because I just need to relax for the rest of the night and not do anything too serious. So with that being said, if you have made it this far in the video, please comment below with something that you are desiring to bring into your life in 2024. Okay, with that, please like and subscribe to these videos so that I can know what you guys like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Oh, you know.